What's going on? Welcome to the huddle. Origin 2 is done and the Denver test is complete so we can focus a bit more on our super coach and getting prepped for that last buy round, round 17. In news though, leading into round 16, Olive at the Bulldogs, a lot of us brought him in last week, he's been dropped. But his teammate, Reese Martin, he's been named to start in the number 12 jersey and it will be interesting to see if he gets the goal kicking as M. Bai has left the club. And Ryan Madison, he's still nowhere to be seen so it will be an interesting call for owners as he's definitely not playing this round or round 17 as the Roosters have the buy. And as you know, we're in the super trade round right now. We've got five trades available if we need them. I'm looking to use all five in preparation for round 17. So here are the five potential trades for round 16. In the halves, we're trading out JT for Sean Johnson. Now I was looking at waiting till next round to do this trade as Sean Johnson has a pretty high break even, but Sean Johnson has the potential to go massive against any team. Then we're looking at trading out Tamari Martin for Gareth Whitt. Now I know Tamari Martin has more cash to make, but he's not playing around 13 and I really want to bring in Gareth Widdop who has been named to back up from the Denver test and he's coming up against the Parramatta Eels, so I'm hoping he can post a solid score. Rapana's injured, he's out for a long time, so I'm freeing up some cash and bringing in Kurt Mann, who hopefully has solidified his spot on the wing there for the Dragons, but I'm a little bit worried, as some of you might also be, that Nightingale could just come back in, and Kurt Mann might get benched again and become an absolute auto-emergency nightmare, but I'm hoping at least he plays round 17 on the wing for the entire game. And Mahe Fanua is also out, and I'm bringing in Kurt Mann's teammate, Ewan Aitken. Aitken's averaging 50 57 points this year with a PPM of 0.72 and he has solid base stats for a center. Now his teammate Tim Laffey is also an option. Laffey's base stats are not as good, but Laffey is quite a bit cheaper. Let me know in the comments section whether you think I should go Ewan Aitken or Tim Laffey. Another sneaky pod could also be Branko Lee. So let me know in the comments section which center do you think I should lock in. And finally, to make all these trades happen, I need a bit more cash and to do that, I'm downgrading Cameron Murray. Now I was thinking that Cameron Murray might get a start in the lock position, but Sam Burgess has been named to start there and back up from the Denver test. So with a high break even and only coming off the bench, it's time to say bye to Cameron Murray. And I'm looking to bring in enough who will play round 17 and then hopefully disappear. So at the moment, I've got Ellis from the Panthers there. He has played a few games when there's been injuries to his teammates. I'm hoping that when CHN and Regan Campbell-Gillard return that he'll just drop out of the team. But there's always a risk that he could be an AE nightmare. Let me know in the comment section if you think it's worth bringing him in or is there a better cheapy out there that you think I should get in. Another option might be Luciane Ledlua. Now I had him in my team at the start of the season and he was just getting junk time at the end of the game. He was an absolute auto emergency nightmare. But hopefully with the starting 17 for the Dragons all healthy, he won't be in the squad. But I don't like the thought. I don't really feel comfortable using another trade to bring Luciane Ledlua back in the team. But let me know in the comments. Ellis, Ledlua, Hetherington from the Panthers might also be an option. Let me know the best cheapie to bring in that will hopefully play around 17, but not be an auto emergency nightmare down the track. So definitely keep an eye on my Twitter and the comment section as I'll post any late changes. I've been playing around with a few combos, but this is the one I feel most settled on at the moment. And if you can, trade as late as possible. Check those team lists out an hour before the game, especially as players are named to back up from the Denver Test and Origin, but you never know, they might get pulled an hour before the game. And just do a practice run through of your trades now, looking at the timing of each game. You might be able to get away with bringing in a player right before the game, but you might not. You might have to get them in a few games earlier. So here we are. Here's the starting squad for round 16. Sean Johnson, Gareth Widdop and Ewan Aitken slot straight into the starting 17 there. But Kurt Mann and Ellis, or whatever enough we decide to get in, will both be NPRs. Now as we get to this point in the season and we start to generate enough cash to get a few more keepers in, it's a bit of a tough choice of who to play and who to leave out when you've got a couple of decent players there like TPJ who's been named to start and Reese Martin's also starting. He may also have the goal kicking, so I have decided to leave those two players out. But let me know whether you agree with my starting set or should I make a couple of changes here and there? Now the vice captain for this week is going to be Gareth Widdop, the new recruit. He's playing the first game of the round against the Eels. Now there's a few captain options out there. Cam Smith loves a big game and he's coming up against the Roosters, but I'm gonna go with Jake Travojevic against the Panthers. Now I know Jerbo's just played Origin, but he has had just under a week to recover. He's averaging 69 points this year. We know what he can do. He averages 64 points against the Panthers and he has turned up against them before. 
four. So let me know what you think of this VCC combo and let me know what vice captain and captain you're thinking of going for this round. So it's more important than ever this week to check those team lists one hour before the game as players are backing up from Origin and all the international games. But be sure to check out the mid-season review where we look at the biggest surprise and letdown and the best and worst trades of the year and we also take a look at some captain analysis. So all the best with your round 16 plans and round 17 plans leading into that last buy round. Be sure to share and subscribe. Join the huddle. Let's go.